I'm Greg Naraki from the Globus customer team at the University of Chicago. This is a companion presentation to my previous Office Hours video where I described Globus sharing from the point of the Globus user invited to access the file share. In this video, I'll describe Globus sharing from the point of the endpoint administrator and the subscriber user doing the sharing. I use the term subscriber user because Globus sharing can only be done on an endpoint that has been managed under a Globus subscription. This also helps distinguish this Globus user, the sharer, from the Globus user accessing the share, the share E, who does not need to be a member of a subscribing organization. Only one side of the sharing equation needs a subscription. So what do we mean when we use the term Globus sharing? Globus sharing is a way to grant Globus users that may not have a local account on your file system access to files and directories on that file system. This may be a bit of a departure from conventional sharing methods, where files are moved up to cloud storage and then shared out. When a few files are involved, cloud-based sharing is fine, but with large research data sets, Globus allows you to bypass that two-hop method and share directly from your own file system. This not only saves time in the actual transfer, one hop instead of two, but could potentially save on cloud storage costs associated with these methods. As an on-prem solution, Globus is the application, and once Globus Connect is installed, there is no need for other services. The Globus service uses an authentication system that integrates identity providers from hundreds of institutions, not to mention Google and ORCID identities. There is no need to provision accounts. Globus takes care of that for you. So how does Globus facilitate this identity-based abstracted access to local file systems? Globus uses overlay permissions, which allows a remote Globus user with a specific identity to act as a local subscriber user, and therefore an account that is authenticated to the local file system, to do a very specific set of things, read or read-write permissions on a specific directory. Recall the graphics from the previous presentation. The remote Globus user authenticates to the Globus service. Because a guest collection with specific access policies has been configured with the Globus service by the subscriber user, the remote Globus user can access the file system on the managed endpoint in accordance with those policies. In this particular case, assume it is a read-only policy to fit with the direction of the transfer arrow. This allows the remote Globus user the ability to transfer data from that collection to their own collection in this case, a Globus Connect personal endpoint. Remote users accessing a local file system? Data sharing? Isn't this unsecure and scary? No, with multi-level permission-based granular control, reliable data transfer and accountability, Globus is an ideal tool to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of researchers engaged in data-driven science and scholarship. Before we talk about the levels of control that both the endpoint administrator and the subscriber user have over sharing, let's quickly review the architecture of Globus Connect Server. The endpoint is created when Globus Connect Server is installed on one or more physical or virtual nodes. During the endpoint setup step, an endpoint owner identity will be assigned. This is the identity that will be the initial endpoint administrator. This administrator can delegate roles to other identities, including adding additional administrators of this endpoint. The endpoint administrator, or administrators, create the storage gateways and using those gateways, the mapped collections, which abstract the home directory structures of the subscriber users for the various storage gateway file systems. The subscriber users can then create guest collections to allow remote Globus users permission-based access to select subdirectories within their mapped collections. After the initial installation of Globus Connect Server, from a responsibility for configuration standpoint, the endpoint administrator, yes, there can be multiple endpoint administrators, but I'll refer to them in the singular from here on out, is responsible for the shaded section of this diagram and the subscriber users are responsible for the shaded section in this diagram. Let's talk about that first level of control, the degrees of freedom controlled by the configuration steps executed by the endpoint administrator. I'm not gonna go through the configuration of Globus Connect Server version five. We've done other videos for that in our GCS v5.4 installation documentation, associated quick start guide, data access admin guide, and Globus Connect Server command line reference are excellent. In order for an endpoint to allow sharing, it must be made managed. 
Managing an endpoint is simply a way of marking the endpoint as part of a subscription and does not imply ongoing responsibility for it. If the endpoint administrator is also a subscription manager, then the Globus Connect Server command line can be used to do this. If the endpoint administrator is not a subscription manager, and this is more likely the case, a subscription manager identity can set the endpoint as managed using the Globus web app. When a storage gateway is configured, the administrator can control which users can access the storage gateway and the file system paths they are allowed to access with Globus. When a mapped collection is created, it must explicitly allow the creation of guest collections and the file system paths that are allowed to be accessed by guest collections. So one can see that there are many administrative controls that can be implemented to restrict the ability of subscriber users to use Globus Sharing and even from where in the file system they can create guest collection access to. Subscriber users can create guest collections off their mapped collections. Once these collections are created, subscriber users control who has access to their guest collections with permissions. Subscriber users can further limit guest collection file system access with path-based restrictions to particular users or groups of users. Other features of Globus help subscriber users manage their guest collections. Globus Groups allows access permissions and role delegation to be granted to aggregations of users, not just a single user. And the aforementioned role delegation, which can be used to assign management and monitoring functionality over collections to other Globus users. The best way to highlight these controls and features is with a quick demonstration of guest collection setup and configuration. Take for example this mapped collection set up on my Greg's GCS v5.4 endpoint. The path field reflects my home directory structure in which there exist subfolders named incoming and outgoing. If we look at the outgoing directory, we see three folders that each contain files meant for two of my colleagues as well as a group of Globus users. The first thing we'll do is create the guest collection, with the root of that collection being the outgoing directory. This process is as simple as selecting the outgoing directory and clicking Share in the Expanded menu, and then Add a Guest Collection in the upper right. Here we give our guest collection a name and, if desired, a description and keywords, as well as additional fields so this collection may be more easily discovered and identified by those seeking it. Hit the Create Collection button, and the guest collection will create and take you to the page to add permissions and roles to that collection. Now we have to actually add permissions so our guest collection can be used to share data. So click on the Add Permissions Share With buttons in the upper right. I'm going to share the VAS folder with one of his identities. First, I'm going to define the path. In this case, the directory with the files intended for him. I'm going to share with a user a specific Globus identity, and I'm going to search for and select the particular identity I'd like to use to share data with him. Since these are outgoing files, I only need to give him read access, and the Globus service can even send him an email message, letting him know there are files waiting for his retrieval. Click Add Permission, and we're done. We can see that VAS, identified by his VAS at uchicago.edu identity, has read-only permissions to the VAS directory under my outgoing directory that was used as the root of this guest collection. If I want to rescind his ability to access this collection, I simply click the trash can icon on the right and click remove. But I'm going to cancel out of this action as I want his access to remain in place. Now I'll do the same for Susan. Globus can also be used to share files with groups. I'm not going to go through the details of creating groups in Globus. There is a link on the last slide to a guide for that. Sharing with groups is very similar to the process of sharing with individual identities. 
I'll show an example of sharing my files for a group directory with my Globus Office Hours group I created earlier. So now we can see that Greg's Office Hours group has read-only access to the files for a group directory in the Greg's Test Share guest collection. Another handy feature of Globus is the ability to grant other Globus users roles on your guest collection. This means you can allow other users to be administrators, access managers, activity managers, or activity monitors of your guest collection. Let's say that I was going to be on vacation, but my team wanted to be able to continue to use my guest collection to exchange data with others. I decided to make my colleague Lee at the University of Chicago an access manager of my guest collection so he could set permissions on my guest collection just like I was doing moments ago. Here's how I'd do that. Now he has the ability to set permissions on my guest collection, just like I do. Roles can be rescinded in a similar way as permissions. We hope that this video has helped highlight the administrative and user level controls that make Globus a reliable, secure, and accountable platform for data sharing. We invite you to visit our website and documentation site for additional details on Globus. Thanks for watching.